Good people, welcome to our bean show. Remember, we're still bonding Africans through cooking. This show is proudly brought to you by Fortune Rise. Fortune says always on point, just like mom. We have different variants. We have Fortune Thigh, Fortune Delight, Fortune Classic, Fortune Delicious, and Fortune Emopa. Anytime you're cooking, make sure you add Fortune Rise to it. Then there's Frital, Frital Vegetable Cooking Oil. It's enriched and fortified with vitamin A. You deserve a life of goodness and also cholesterol free. We're taking a quick break and when we come back, I'll let you know who I have on the show today. A big show, of course. We're still bonding Africans through cooking. We'll be right back. <music> It's good to try something new every day. It's good to stay strong together. It's good when you get the rest you need because your family has got you. It's good to share nutritious meals cooked with Frital, a vitamin A fortified oil. Whatever goodness means to you, Frital stands with you. Frital, you deserve a life of goodness. This advert is FDA approved. people welcome back to our being show remember i'm telling you that we are bonding africans through cooking so every guest that comes on my show gets to take us to another african country depending if the person is a Ghanaian, you understand yes my beautiful makeup is from the glam hall yeah she made me look this beautiful let me remind you the frito has two variants yes we have the frito vegetable oil which is also fortified with vitamin A. That one is used for deep cooking. Yes. So if you want to fry all the things you want to fry deeply, you use the Frito vegetable oil. And the second one is the Frito sunflower oil. The same as the vegetable oil. It is also naturally cholesterol free and fortified with vitamin A, but it's for shallow frying. Yes. So you do, if you don't want to do the deep cooking, you move to the sunflower oil. And of course we have Frito seasoning as well. Today, I have this amazing woman that I can't wait to talk to her for you to get deeper into her life. It's Madam hmm, Esther Teria. Auntie Esther. You say you don't want the auntie. Yes. <laughs> I think it's the theory. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. You look so me. beautiful. Thank you. You look oh. good too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your patience. Only, only me understanding. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so who is Madame Esther Teria? Mm, that's who a deep question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think Esther Teria is just um, a young African okay. who is passionate about a few things on the continent. Okay. Can um, we, I want to I want to know the, the, the things that you're passionate about. Can you tell us? So I think, um, like I said earlier, Esther is just a young girl who mm -hmm. is passionate about uh, some things okay particularly when it comes to women oh wow um oh women passionate. empowerment mm -hmm. you should have <laughs> whichever way you want to put it i mean so okay. um yeah just a young girl who i mean i'm not really a young girl mm. a, a lady a lady who is interested in a few things i'm passionate about gender issues and but Esther, wait, also why, elections. why women why women because they are men um you see, mm -hmm. I think the conversation about women, mm -hmm. people get a bit confused about it because okay. they feel like, oh, these people are always saying they are the weaker vessel, mm -hmm. they are the vulnerable ones, they mm -hmm. want this to be done and all that. No. Um, for me, why women? is because I feel as a, as a young woman, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that culturally has limited us for a very long time. You think so? Up, up until 1990s where mm -hmm. there was a massive drive for girls to be in school. Yeah. I mean, we weren't having women in school. Yeah. Um, you'd be surprised to find out that in this day and age, mm -hmm. 
women are still asked not to do certain things just because of their sex. In this day and yeah. age, there are, can banks, you, can you, mm -hmm. there are banks in Ghana here that would tell a woman, don't get pregnant for yeah. the first two years of your employment. Yeah, with that, I've, I've um, The that. security force in, I mean, the whole security force in the country mm -hmm. also have that. And if you could Ish. recall the issue with the three fire service women, women yeah. who went up to um, Shiraj to seek justice. So you could tell that even though in the 90s there were that kind of drive to get girls into school, mm -hmm. we have having more women completing university, more mm -hmm. women being in the workforce. There are a lot of things that women are not really participating in. Like, can you give me an example? We're learning. I mean, we're here to You know, so, so, so if you look at women in the workforce, mm -hmm. issues about sexual harassment is still mm. a big deal. Um, issue about care, I mean, having a more or less like a child-friendly environment yeah. where women who have babies can babies. actually um, take their children, mm -hmm. their children to work and breastfeed. If you look at the Ghana Labor Act, mm -hmm. in the act it stipulates that every employer is supposed to give an hour of breastfeeding to mm. any nursing mother Does it even who happen? is employed. Does it even now, happen? It would be it would be able to happen if okay. they provide the necessary things that they ought to use. Mm -hmm. Most offices don't have crutches or any no, 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 child friendly no. environment where you can say, Oh, I'll bring in my nanny, I can breastfeed my child and I haven't all even seen I mean I've heard, but I haven't seen one yet. Yes. And so you see I know some some a few um, private firms, mm -hmm. but mostly with a with a government institution, you don't really get to get find to some see, of these things. Yeah. And of course, it's, it's on a large scale, mm -hmm. the banking and all those sectors where women are thriving now. You don't get to see them. Mm -hmm. So you see that there's still issues to address. Mm -hmm. I recall um, we were working with Trade Union Congress. Mm -hmm. So I work with the Gender Center for Empowering Development. I was going to ask you for uh, how long? I think for the past is it ten or twelve years? Oh wow! And, wow. and we were working with TUC. Okay. It was on a sexual harassment thing. So um, I think we we that we realized that most companies don't even really have anything to report to to mm -hmm. say that oh if a woman is abused or you need killed, to go here. Go, nobody. I mean, really. So I think. We working with TUC to say that okay, let's develop some. Can, sort of can you policy. give the full meaning of TUC? Trade maybe Union somebody, Congress. Okay, and what did they do? Uh, that's the the bigger body for all workers. I mean, okay. so it it it's really. Mm -hmm. I mean, recently you heard when the government wanted to do something with the pension fund. Yes, Trade yes. Union came up. Was no, the one. you know, so <laughs> Trade Union really, all of you, you fall under Trade, trade union. union. Everybody, I do. Mm. And so we working with them to say, let's have a policy that literally will address some of these things so that your members can really have access to some of these things. It was really very um, inspiring for me to see that there are people, institutions out there who really cares about women, who the concerns of women on a daily basis is, is, their, pro is their problem and wants to address it. And so going forward and seeing that the International Labor Organization coming up with a new ILO 190 to say that sexual and gender-based violence is a global problem mm. and needs to be addressed. I think for me, it tells you that we still have a lot of work to do. And I know that the government is yet to say that they are signing to rectify. We are working with the Ministry of Gender, <laughs> Labor and Employment, telling government that yes, we have the domestic violence bill, but it's domestic. It doesn't really goes to the public space. Yeah. So we want governments, you are appealing to government to sign this bill, mm -hmm. to sign this, and then let's come to the country. Because you know, when it's signed and ratified, automatically it becomes a law. Yeah. What then the country needs to do is to domesticate it. And so most of the laws that we have made in the country concerning women, if you go back to history, we have signed on to so many international protocols, wow. like the CEDO, Convention uh, on the Nation does it, does of... It, does it even work? Like it does. All the things, all the it laws does. put in place. It does. Yeah, it does okay. do work. Okay. Um, I think 20... Is it 20, 2019, mm -hmm. 18, we did a scorecard on the Moputo Protocol, which is a protocol on um, the, the rights of African women. Mm -hmm. And that protocol was specifically done by the African Union so, okay. for member states to kind of um, address the concerns of women. And we could see that successive governments have been doing well in addressing... Um, Those issues. Yes, 
each article. So you take um, on education, harmful practices in Ghana now, it's, it's a crime to do FGM, early marriage, the policies oh, that we've put in place. Wait, wait. But I, I, I like people are still doing the FGM. Okay, so you see, Female some of these things, this thing, right? yes, some of these things mm -hmm. are behavioral change mm -hmm. that do not only require law or okay. policy. It requires the whole community coming into force and also communities playing as watchdogs. You know, so if you see somebody doing something, you can, is, you can report the person. They have to go to trade, you know, they have to come to you. So, so for, t for, for FGM and all that, you can either go to the police, you can go to the gender ministry, or you can even walk to the district assembly and ask of a gender officer and wow. report to the gender officer that I've seen something here. And, and so some, take, yes, yeah. I I'm think, glad you came. I think recently some people mm -hmm. have been doing well with early marriage in the North because mm -hmm. there've been quite a number of cases that have come out. Mm -hmm and all that but so again how early is your early you know what i mean how uh so the law says 18 18, 18 is when you have the consent to do what okay. um for even for sex and all that yeah. so below 18 it's it's an early marriage yeah, yeah. It, it, you do, it's even still, it, it's still uh, not anyways. but then i think it um that's my opinion anyways let's go to the yeah <laughs> but but, the, I, but I think I think because and I, again it, it also contradicts what the the law on consent uh, to sex and all those things. So mm. I think there's a bit of con uh, mm, but I mean mm. the most important thing is that I mean below 18 years I don't think a girl needs to be married. A girl needs to be in school mm. planning her life. What is your take on this whole 18 year marriage for the northern people? You know. So you see, um, when early marriage conversation is I mean, discussed in the northern region, normally religion comes in and then they t telling your culture and all that. It's a long, I mean, for me, I think that we have a long way to go. I like I said earlier, it's behavioral change. Okay. People need to come to terms with some of the things that we have been doing. We, yes, you've been married somebody at an early age. Mm -hmm. How yeah. beneficial has that been? to the community have those children been able to be well taken care of because if somebody is young as low as 15 they themselves need care mm -hmm. would they be able to give enough Can care they even take care of themselves before they to get, yeah. to another you know outcome. so so, so i feel like mm -hmm. i feel like we st like we need in in the conversation around gender mm -hmm. I, I mean we need that behavioral change to happen I do, I, I love democracy, I love elections, mm -hmm. and and issues about women's leadership do come in. And you work with a number of people, and the community still doesn't see why they have to embrace women's leadership, okay. you know? So, so for me, I think that the whole conversation about gender, predominantly, really would see a lot of progress if there's that conscious effort from people yeah, to say that we need to change here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, I also want to know where you come from. Where do I come from? So I grew up, I was born and bred in New Tafua Chem in the Eastern region. Okay. Um, I went to feeding preparatory school. Mm. I went to a penny. Oh, okay. And then I came to University of Ghana, Legon. Mm. And then I went to University of Manchester, UK oh, to do okay. my master's. Yes, yeah, so oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that's, that's amazing. Where do you work now? I literally, I, I think I'm a social entrepreneur. Okay. So I, I set up Gender Center for Empowering Development. Oh, okay. uh, but I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a democracy, a gender democracy election expert. So I do, as a consultant, to work on elections across Africa. Oh, okay. I've observed elections in Kenya, Sierra Leone, Liberia, oh, wow. Nigeria. And I think maybe that's where I picked up my, my taste for that's the also, meal so I'm know, going to prepare so you today. Know the whole Africa is also watching you. So, I mean, yeah, that's why you're here today. Uh, what food are you preparing? For? So, 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 you know, one interesting thing. I think um, Eba is a food that everybody eats. Yeah, um, our own Gary. Yes, it's a food everybody eats, right? Mm. But, I mean, the, what's it's coming with it mm. is the interesting part of it. Mm -hmm. I remember 2019, I was the um, inclusion analyst for the Joint Ele International Election Observation Mission for the uh, International Republican Institute and okay. uh, the N National Democratic Institute. They are US-based um, okay. organization, both affiliated to um, their two major parties, but then they are independent, you know. 
I, I mean, I love the way democracy is being played outside where political parties don't think within their confines, but think beyond and say that let's have an institute, an independent institute, which really reflects our democratic thinking and our way of, of, of believing in free speech and all that. So yeah, um, I, I, and I was there for over a, uh, Where? over, over Nigeria? yeah, for over, okay. over, over a month. Okay. So and you ate, you ate Emma. So, you know, I, I was, Eba? so I was, no, but I said Eba and the, and you know, Nigeria usually they will say, Ah, madam, what protein do you want? Uh -huh. it, means, <laughs> it means what's to you in Ghana, like what's to you? Like, you know, that kind of accompaniment, mm. like what do you want? You know, so that was where my friend was like, oh, Esther, there's a joint here, there's a fish that's really, I'm like, oh, what kind of fish is this? Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. And that's where I started eating the, that, the fish that I'm going to prepare. What, what fish is that? And I think when we get to the kitchen, no, I'm going tell to tell me. you. I have to tell, <laughs> you know, I have to let my viewers know the name of the food you're cooking. So, so, you so said yes, so I, I don't want to say the English one because if I say the English one, it means that people are going to get to know what I'm going to okay, cook. Okay, so the Nigerian so one. So they, they said it's called Eja also. And I was like, ah. Eja also. I said, okay, it's a popular fish that Nigerians really like. I'm sure Nigerians are laughing at me because I don't know what So it is. I went to this joint and they was like, ah, you have to point. I said, ah, okay. So I just pointed it. So point and kill. Ah, I pointed. Is it catfish? I don't want to tell. Oh, it's catfish! It's catfish! <laughs> in Ghana, it's called um, Adjuni. It's a catfish, and they want to tell me. No. I got so, you. So, I yeah, so, you. I mean, for me, it was interesting to. Oh, to okay. I mean, I really haven't um, tasted the fresh one. I used to do the, the Ghanaian one that mm -hmm. for soups and all that. So, today, you are going to do a The Nigerian soup. one, and the way I enjoyed um, I you know, so in Abuja, I did enjoy it with the, the usually, usually would do either a fried yam or sweet potatoes. Don't worry, we'll, with it. We'll, we'll get but then the I kitchen, went to, I went to Kano uh -huh. and then I had a different taste of it. Mm -hmm. And that's why I decided, no, this so ever has to So you're going to do it also with the Kano taste? Taste of the, one? yes, with the Kano. Me Abuja. No, 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 Abuja was okay, eating next it. Okay, next week I'll come with Abuja. Abuja, Abuja, was, Abuja, Abuja one, I was eating it. <laughs> you know, Abuja one, I was just eating it in a foil. They would just cook it, they mm -hmm. put it in the foil, mm -hmm. cook everything together. And the Kano is which one? That one, they prepared it like we it's prepare. Okay, <laughs> we are going to the kitchen. So okay. you let me know how Eja also and Eba taste, taste like. like. <laughs> so my people, we take a quick break when we come back. We'll be in the kitchen cooking Eba and Eja also, aka catfish, SKA Adrini, SKA slash two point and kill. <laughs> I've been show but in Africans through cooking. Cool. We'll be right back. Nadu. Aisha to Asantua. Olali, is a good fortune or your attention to detail or the amazing car that surrounds you? Is it something about your good taste? Is it your keche in the kitchen that brings out your delicious Ghanaian flavor? <laughs> Luko, see taste. Ayeko Mama, with Driani Ariam, your cooking is Ghana's good fortune. Omotu, fried rice, chinka fadewachi. Whether it's Nigerian or Ghanaian jollof, the debate ends here because you know that your flavor needs the right rice. Introducing Fortune Rice from the House of Frital. Fortune Rice, the right rice for Ghana's great flavor. people so you're welcome back to my kitchen and today i have esther with me esther what did you say you're cooking again i always forget the name a jowl song. okay 
with and eba. With eba. Okay, so can you tell us the ingredients? I mean, let's So this is my eja also. Okay. Basically, it's um what Ghanaians call it catfish. Okay. Oh, I Um yes. Okay. Eja also is an Yoruba name. Okay. Um I think it's what well, this is one of the rich um fish for um the Yorubas. They okay. really do like it. That's fine. And then I have my palm oil. Mm -hmm. I have my crab. You know, it's a seafood thing. Okay. So oh, everything okay. and then the shrimps. And since I have my scotch bonnets, bonnets in different um, colors, colors okay. the green, the red, and the yellow. You okay. know, the yellow Ghanaians really do like it, and I yeah. think it, it, ha it has a very good a very flavor. Very nice flavor, okay. And then onions, okay. And then the okra, okay. And then a bit of salt, okay. And uh, smoked uh, fish, because mm -hmm. it's a seafood thing, so we want to have a flavor of almost everything. And then, of course, my dessert which is going to be a mango, mm -hmm. and then the almighty Gary that you can't do away with, you know? There's no advert for Gary, but it's the most uh, the mo I'm telling you. carbs you can ever get. Yes. Okay, and I, I also agree. have Frito cooking oil for you. As I mentioned earlier, we have the Frito vegetable cooking oil and the sunflower. Vegetable cooking oil is for deep frying, and then the sunflower is for shallow frying. I have seasoning in different varieties. I have the shrimp, I have the chicken, and then I have the mixed spices as well. So, are we ready to yes, cook? Yeah. So please come and wash your hands first. Okay. And what do you need? If you need any cooking utensils, let okay. Me so know. just wash your hands. Whilst I'm washing, washing my hands, what do you need? Um, yes. I think I would need to blend my onions and uh, and this pepper. Okay. Uh, together. All right. And then a bit of um, chopping. You know, so I'll, I'll need my chopping board with okay. a knife to chop the okra. Okay. So wait. So I'll need the chopping board first, mm -hmm. uh, and the no knife. The gari is moving because I need space. It will come back later. And then of course, the the, the mangoes can also move. move. The mango can move. Okay. What else has to move from here? Because I'm bringing my chopping board. Yes. Okay. Let me get you. So whilst yes. I'm here, let me just wash the chopping board since I'm standing here. Okay. Let me get you tissue so you can clean your hands when you're done. Okay. You want to wash the chopping yeah. board? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. You need knife, right? Of course, a knife. So is this okay for you? Yeah. Okay. Hey. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, the chopping board, the knife, and what else? And then so a, that I can a blender. Get it ready for you. A, a blender. blender. Okay. Mm. Okay. I'll get you a blender. So what do you want to blend? So whilst you are chopping, I'll be blending for you. So I'm going to be uh, blending to blend the this onions and, and the... This. Yeah. Mm. I know my thing is already washed, but... I yeah, mean, everything because, is washed, though. Um, yeah, so... Everything is washed. Already washed. Um, I think I'll rinse the knife. Okay. You don't need any bowl yet, right? So, so that I can start blending for you. Uh, yeah, I think I'll need a bowl. I will need a bowl now because uh, it'll be good to put the, the bowl on fire. On and fire? Yep. So please, which one do you need? Is this okay? Please, is this okay? Is this okay? What, do you, what are you going yeah. to do with it? Uh, that's what I'm going to prepare. The, I, I think it's small because it's small. The, the, the fish... Okay. Mm. Is this okay? Yes. Perfect. You see, I'm taking all the onions because mm -hmm. I love to cook with a lot of onions. Okay. I think um, onions are very good. Okay. And um, I'm really excited to see that Frito have um, a cube which onions is uh, the main okay. the main kind of the dominant ingredient in okay. it, which is very good. Let me get you something to pour the water. Do you want to put water in the onions? A little bit because I don't want it to be too smooth. I is want it, okay? it to, it's too much. Oh, it's I want it to be, um, to be a bit rough. Okay. You know, not too smooth. Okay. That's fine. 
And because mm -hmm. it's also um, seafood, uh, mm -hmm. sea fish, um, you know, you need to use a bit of more um, pepper so that, you know... Pepper is already washed, so... Yeah, you know, um, the, the, the fish, because of that taste, Whilst we're talking, just so it will be better to have a bit more of it mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that you don't, when you're eating it, you don't feel like... <sighs> okay. I said, me both know me. Ah, okay. So whilst I'm doing this, will you cut your okra? So whilst you are doing this, uh, I'll be... Can we add a little water? Can we add a little water? Or uh, I, I don't want it to be too watery. Okay. So well, we're going to be shaking it while half is blending. Or if you think it, it's not, it. can we, can we, it's okay, I'll, I'll do it in the So can we too. mix it? I mean, can you use um, either a spatula or something to mix up inside so that the, the, un, uh, the pepper can go down to be able to blend because there's enough water in there. Okay. Um, and then my pan is already here, right? So I think I'll rinse it a little bit. So whilst I'm doing that, if you could help me with the fire. Okay. I want to blend this for you and then... So before that, could you help me with the fire first? No, because I'm using the same place. So let me just finish for that. Can we put a little water on? Okay. 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 Add a little just bit. A little, just a little. There's water there. Just a little, as you said. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I think I've... I've I don't need that. I think it's okay. I don't want to do it smooth. So it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Because I, it's, it's, it's crushed. Everything is You don't crushed. need blender again. No. At least you can be cutting the okra, then I'll be putting the fire on. For me? Yeah. Okay, so I have my my thing on. Okay. Um, there's a, a little bit of water in there, so it has to get finished, dried oh, okay. up. Okay. I thought you needed water or something. No. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing now? Um, so when it dries up, I'm going to add a bit of my... Um, I'm going to add my... Mm -hmm. Palm oil. Yeah, but for now. But for now, you can also be helping me with the cutting of the okra, hmm. actually, if you don't mind. I don't mind. So mm -hmm. I put in a little bit of. You don't want too much of the oil. Mm -hmm. So a bit of it. Um, can I get a tissue? Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, right. So a bit of that, and I think the pan was already so hot. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add the blended onion. Let me do that for you, so you can. Okay. Do Okay. So you you, okay. you you stir the blended onion mm -hmm. and then you let it cook a little bit for let's say okay, so can I cover it for you or something? Um do you want me to put any small water or nothing? Uh we'll put in the water. If you can rinse it a little bit and put Just it down. A little. Put it down, don't put it now. So I'm I'm cutting my okra. Please, is it okay? Uh add a little bit. Because we are going to use it Please to cook the... Yes, it's fine. So I should go and pour? No, just let it sit. Oh, okay. In the... Okay. Spare a bit. Um, and then we're going to be putting in our... Anything you want, just do, I'll sh uh, show me I'll put it in for you. Okay. So as I'm cutting... Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So what could you, you help me now put in the <coughs> the God. crab? That's a lot of pepper. The crab. Yeah. It's already washed, or you want yeah. it to? No, it's okay. It's fine. Okay. It's already done. I should pour all. Yes. Have a look. So the crab is going. Yes. And then my mm, what and else? And then this. What? The uh, the other smoked fish. Okay. Um, I would prefer if we flake it. Don't worry. You just do. <laughs> I should flake it for you. Yes. Okay. So here we are. Should I take the head off? In Ghana, a lot of mothers. Oh, of course, yes. You can take the head off. Okay. 
and I, uh, I check whether the the once you're talking just be doing <laughs> it's like any moment you just okay This pepper is peppering me. Gosh. So please try to take all the bones out of the fish. You really want your your meal to be with a bit of um That's not pleasant of, to eat. Yeah, strength of bones. So. Especially when kids are involved. Yes. So don't worry, I got you. I'm taking everything off. I see. So, Can we lower the, the, the stove a little bit? Yeah, sure. Should I cover it? Uh, yeah, you can. Okay. But if you can be a little bit haste for me to get the thing in and so we can have our agent. Just before. being careful with the... With the... Uh -huh. okay. <sighs> you say you want me to flake it or this is enough? It's okay. Okay. This okay, yeah. but it's going. Yeah, and then That's we see. finally put this one in. Okay. And then oh. we cover. Yeah. You do you want me to put any seasoning? Uh, no, don't worry. You after that, I'll okay. let you know what. So I should just put the whole catfish. Yes, just in. put everything in there. Okay. Our catfish is going. Wow. It's very slimy, but you know that's how catfish is. Please, I'm adding the. Yes, put everything inside, and wow. then now we're gonna. Um, no, just what do you need? So the the the, the, the you're water. Talking, just be <laughs> the water. I should from give the, you water. The, uh, the no, the water from the, the one blended onions me. and the pepper. Okay. Um, let's put it on it, and then we put in a little bit of. Um, you just seasoning. whilst you are because you are in it. Okay. So Thank we, you. You help me with the season. So pour that on it. And we add the the, the seasoning, shrimp, the, the frito, yes, shrimp. and a bit of salt. And then the frito makes spices. That's yes, what a bit of stock, salt. My madam says I should use. <laughs> yeah, as for salt, I, I would prefer that you use more of the onion, the, okay. the frito onion. So use one it's of the mixed shrimp. It's mixed spices. Yeah, but it's, it I has mean, onions. Yes, in. and I think the onion is the dominant um, so I'm ingredient, using, which I really do like. So I just use the shrimp. One so shrimp to, and then two of the... Two uh, mixed spices. Yes. I, I love the flavor. I love what I'm... And so when we are aroma. done with that, mm -hmm. if you could kindly stir. Okay. Is that with the last one? Mm -hmm. But please make sure it, it's not only on one fish, but the seasoning, it's all oh, over. Oh, it's all over. Yeah. Yes, madam. Assistant extraordinaire. I'm here to help you. Don't fret. Okay. So please, is the water okay? Can I use a little? Uh, no, the water is fine for now. Kindly stay. Okay, okay. I just want to wash my hands so that... All right, so you know it's it's really interesting. Um, there's something interesting wow. about food. Mm -hmm. There's something interesting about food. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really know color. It doesn't know language. All yeah. it knows is the stomach. Yes. So and whatever stomach is going in. Yeah. And that is Ghanaian stomach. It doesn't matter. Nigerian stomach. Exactly. The stomach is ready for the, the, the So food. can I cover it? Please? Yes, cover it now so that we can have... It's it, simmer. Yeah, and well cooked. Um, I have lowered it or I should hide a bit for you? No, it's fine. It's so fine. Keep it low. Okay. So what can I do again for you? You're just... No, so now I'm just interested in getting this thing done. So please, this... Yeah, it will be the last thing to do. You oh. don't need to add your... The shrimp is not really like... Um, oh. It's a very soft... Uh, uh, seafood, so okay. you don't, oh, don't need what it. you're talking, don't stop. It's like yeah. when you're talking, you stop. Once you're talking, don't stop because we're cooking and we're talking. Do you get it? You know, I'm somebody who is very picky when it comes to food, mm. but like I said, there's something about the stomach that you have to respect food no matter where you are. Mm -hmm. Um, 
you go to some places and the meal that is served to you is totally different from what you are used to. Mm. The first time I so saw... So are we going to boil this? Um, no, I'm not going to boil it. So I'm oh. just going to cut oh, it and then we're going, we're going to put it on it like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. You know, in Ghana, when we're doing our okra... Yeah, we have to parboil, basically. Yes. And we even have to put a little bit of salt. We're learning. I mean, we're Ghanaians, so... Yeah. This is, this is, I mean, we're bonding Africans through cooking. So if a Nigerian is watching or a Ghanaian is watching. And so you see like, the, the, the beauty of it is that when you eat the please Nigerian. Please stop. Whilst you're talking, just be doing it. Oh, we still have time. Don't worry about it. No, no, we don't have time. Please, can you stir the, the. Okay, so let, let me have a look at the gel. I think we might have to remove it now. So I should put it off? Uh, no. I should put the fire on. The fire on, but the edge also is supposed to be removed. Okay. So what, was, what I was saying is that, you see, the, the Ghanaian way of cooking okra, we have to, we parboil it before we then go and boil it again. Mm -hmm. And so it makes the whole thing very soft. But the Nigerians normally don't do that. They, they put it in straight up after... Um, Ch cutting All right. after chopping it so can i know why we are removing the edge also the you don't want it to be well, too overly cooked and uh, because it's soft and you don't mm. want it to 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 kind of um how do i put it overly cooked which sometimes makes it um ah uh, so you don't want it to flake in like you know you want it to still be there so this is our edge also yes okay so now mm -hmm. we're going to add our okra okay so do you want me to get you okay uh, yeah I can I'm just use this too. yeah so now it's yours i think we're almost done wow yeah it's a, a very quick simple one meal. that was a quick meal yeah and the eba should i bring the eba because as soon as we put this yeah so that, we can done. we can put uh, the the Water, hot water, hot water. water. And you know one thing I learned from a friend of mine who is also a Nigerian. She's from. Can we use this for the air? Yeah, she's from Anambra State. Okay. She says she adds a little bit of, a little bit of oil mm -hmm. to the water. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to add a little bit of the fryer. So All I put right. my okra in there. Interesting. And then I stay. Excuse me. So I want to taste to see whether there's enough salt. Okay. I think I need a little bit of salt. Okay. I'm trying to put on the fire for you. Okay, so it's on now. Yes. Sorry. If I get you water, the fire is on now for the eba. For the eba, so we get a bit of water in there. Are you going to use the salt? Then? Yes, I'm going to use a bit of salt in the eba. Please, our shrimps are here. Um, our shrimps are here. Yes, it, 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 I will use the shrimp in a, a little I'm bit. I'm not going to use this. Right? No, I'm not going to use it. I need a little bit of water. If you can use the blender to get me okay. water. Still in that, yes. A bit, not too much. Is it okay? It's okay. I think it's even too much. Okay. Um, like this so that it will help the, the okra to steam out well. Mm -hmm. okay. And so whilst I put this on, I mm -hmm. think I'm going to now add my shrimp. Um, okay. I know we are doing in Nigeria. I don't really like um, too much of oil. So you see the, the quantity of the palm oil that I took. Um, okay. It's a bit small and that's mm -hmm. how... I prefer it. So I'm now adding the the shrimps. Is the water is it okay? I think you could add a little bit and then put in a little bit of the fried oil. Yeah. So I'm going to put in the the shrimps. I'm putting the shrimps now. Mhm. Mm oh wow, that's the final thing. Yep. Please, you check if the water is okay. I think it's is fine. It okay? No. I should add more. Yes, a bit more. Okay. 
So now I have my shrimps in here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to leave it to cook. Uh, yes, should I? Yes. If it's okay, so is it okay? No, add all. Oh, oh. Okay, that's fine. You need more. Uh, no, it's okay. Okay. So I'm going to cover it up to cook. Please, you mentioned you needed uh, oil. No, I was just saying that. No, you needed oil for that. Yes, fried oil. Okay. Uh, my friend taught me that she says when you put in the oil, um, it makes it a bit more easy and... Okay. So please, can I you know come what? and pour so, your oil? Yes, in a minute. I don't want to over pour. Mm. I think we're almost done. So you see the beauty of some of these things, learning how to cook elsewhere. When she said to me that she literally put in the, the oil, I asked, like, oil. You know, you know oil is only used for frying and yes. other stuff. So for, for her to say that, it tells you how versatile you could use the oil. So fried oil, oil could be used for so many other things, not only for just frying or anything. Yeah. So I, think I, I love this aspect. I've learned this hack, cooking hack. If I'm um, doing it because I love Eba. Oh, okay, that's fine. I, I hope you put in a little bit of salt for me. I haven't. Okay, so then I add a little bit of salt to the Eba. Okay. So as I was saying earlier. Should we cover it? Oh, uh, you can let it be there without covering. It's fine. Mm. So like I said, mm -hmm. so here I am hungry and I'm very picky with food. And I say, let me try um, a different kind of food. And there's one very striking thing I've realized in almost all the countries in Africa that I've been to, mm -hmm. uh, the kind of food that we eat. We have a staple meal that mm -hmm. is literally a cross board, whether in I East see. Africa you eat corn. So Gary cuts across, I know West Africa. Africa. Oh, okay. West Af predominantly West Africa. I know of Nigeria and Ghana. Like so predominantly Uber. West Africa, Gary cuts and what cuts across the whole of Africa, I would say, is corn. Oh, okay. And uh, maize. And, and, I mean, some call it corn, some call it maize. Do you know in Jamaica, they, they have a meal, a maize meal? Oh. Even though, I mean, it's not it's, even it's, in it, Jamaica. It, it, let's even home in Africa. And, yeah. and the beauty of this is the Kenyan government actually declares a national emergency when they run out of corn. Wow. Because that's the most staple food. You the know, um, the Elikian came to cook. They call it cook. kukali. Elikem came to cook a maize meal called satsa. I mm. think that's, what it, that, that's a Zimbabwean dish. So it was really nice. So it, it, it's just, it's a bit closer to what Kenyans call the kugali. So kugali. The kugali is a bit closer to what we call the fante, fante banku. You know the etil. fante etil. It's called etil. So you know the, the, they don't cook with cassava in and all that. It's just the corn. So that's the, that's the most staple food in East Africa. And South yeah. Africa have this called pap. It's also from it's corn. Yeah. It's also the same thing. So it's I think really, it has it's different. It's starchy and it's, it's, it's just like, you, know, you see how tozafi, comes when out it's too. very hard, or yeah. how uh, akple, mm -hmm. when it's very hard, the, the pap, when it's hard, it's ash. So it, it, it's, it's, it's the same meal that it gets. It's, it's boiling. Can we start? Um, no, I want it to be well, I mean, so, so that when it gets in there, it So just should I change? It. No, so this it's fine. This is faster. So let me put it here. So Which one is faster? This one. This one. So okay, that, then let's change. Yes, you get this. So because we'll just the, the, it. our our um, thing yeah. is almost yeah. ready. So just remove it and let me swap. So you know, basically, they all have the name, the same name. Um, it's the same thing they used, mm -hmm. but um, as you, you you leave another country to other places, and I think it's also because of the languages that we speak. Mm -hmm. um, so East Africa, which is predominantly um, Swahili. Most of their words are a bit more from the Swahili language. Oh, okay. And okay, so, you know, this, we are in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we are in Nigeria by food. <laughs> I'm staying in Ghana. So, <laughs> let me take a quick snap to Ghana and come back. In table, you for me to switch it. I'm going to I'm going to say, I'm going to I'm going to say, 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 I'm Okodibi or Kanu State. Was say eh, say Adrian, you will do a difference. If I can't afford the any day, any day, into the area journey, which is catfish, and I would the area any day, day, a day, my area no see a friend is saying, Adrian, any day, any friend is saying, Eja also, Eja also, and it's a yenamo. 
and I'm only dinny. And yeah, age I was true. I was not done a form of gas age. I was so I hit me, brah, Darby. It's age I was on our day and you drian and only a catfish. And say, baby, a drun or fire drew son or be she any. Uh, your friend is all my cigar, yes, cigar, I'm on your adverts, and so if you are near two years apart, Gary, you number one, and I want to ask yes, and see, baby, a dreaded, baby, try and one bar, huh? If you go, not check, and I'm a patch all, and other things, so I may see, and I said, what they and what a crack, a go in Sionimo, said the bayer, or say, or car, my memory, mm -hmm. or car, eh, eh, for fat a eh, eh, tunnel, and then eh, yes, sir. So let me switch my people. At this point, at this point, we're done. Yes, so see how uh, she's staring or driving. Yeah, yeah, be all in one. So she's doing uh, the eba. That's how she's preparing her. But she added a bit of uh, oil, fried off vegetable cookie oil. Yes, so anytime you're doing eba, okay. please make sure you have fried oil in your house. So, and at this point, are we adding the yes. age also? Yes. The age yeah. also? Oh. Okay. So, my yes, people. Yes, adding that. Yeah. So, on adding the age also, that's the new name I've given to the catfish, age also. Don't mind me, Nigerians. We'll take a quick break. By the time we come back, we'll be in this game. By the time we come back, we'll be sitting. Mm. Enjoying our, our delicious delicacy. All the way from the land of Nigeria. Can't get to see your Ohima Esther cooking for us today with our little dessert. You say we're going to do mangoes. Mangoes, okay. So, my people, we'll take a quick break when we come back. Yes, we'll be sitting. Our bean show, of course, is bonding Africans through cooking. Remember, this show is proudly brought to you by Frito Vegetable Cooking Oil, Frito Sunflower Oil, Frito Seasoning, and Fortune Rice. Yes, always on point, just like mom and Ohima Esther. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll continue the show. A bean show. Bonding Africans through cooking. We'll be right back. It's good to try something new every day. It's good to stay strong together. It's good when you get the rest you need because your family has got you. It's good to share nutritious meals cooked with Frital, a vitamin A fortified oil. Whatever goodness means to you, Frital stands with you. Frital, you deserve a life of goodness. This advert is FDA approved. back to our bean show remember we're still bonding africans through cooking today i had madam esther to come and cook us that's how I'm, <laughs> i've given that name to Ejaosu <laughs> and eba so here we are Ta -da! madam esther thank you so much for coming on the show to give us this beautiful kano based <laughs> So ready, we've already washed our hands. Remember that when you're eating this meal, you have to make sure you wash your hands properly before you eat. And I just, I don't like Water and soap. Okay, water. Hey, you are so specific. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say fried oil and soup. I know. <laughs> water and soap. And we have our desserts as well. So, ah, who's seven? Am I serving you or are you serving me? Should I serve you? Anyway. Choose which one you want. Okay, so... All right. Do you, do you, can you eat two or one? Oh no. Oh, I'm just I asking. I'm the way you <laughs> the way you suffer to to, to 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 cook this meal. No, fine with one. And if it's not nice, you know me. You've not heard about me. You know me. I'll say it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you can pass me your plate. Let me let me help Thank you. you. You're welcome. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
then I think you definitely gonna have the first bite to tell me. Uh huh. Don't sugarcoat anything. Just <laughs> nice i would say if it's not nice that's I what i'm mean, saying so no sugar coats just say ah oh, you could have done better next time me but i i know you're going to be generous to me so oh let's see how it goes <laughs> yeah ja, what's true? there's everything there's everything i mean when you go to nigeria you say they call it protein okay oh you're going to serve yourself okay i think it's a bit closer to me so yeah. that's fine you know, I saw, I saw some shrimp, so let me pick them before I and I think you didn't pick the crab, or you don't like it, because that's also very good in calcium. Yes, and iron. Okay, you can take. Okay, okay. I love crabs. Okay, mm -hmm. well, yeah, so you can have it. Okay, thank So, ta-da! I'm about to try my Eba <laughs> and my Ejao Su meal. Mm. I see some my people this is where we face reality yeah. if it's nice are you nervous not really are you sure because it's shaking a little bit <laughs> let's see if it's nice or it's not from the stable of <sighs> why are you laughing <laughs> Because I'm still around Kanu, I'm about to enter Kanu. Hmm. Hello. What do you think? <laughs> you should be telling me. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh, it's you. so beautiful. It's so nice. Oh my God. In fact, the food is fooding. Yes. Uh, you've really done well. I'm surprised that a Ghanaian could actually cook a meal from Nigeria and it tastes as good. Yeah, so of course, this is why we say we're bonding Africans through cooking. I'm about to taste the yeja also, I mean the catfish, to see if it's well cooked and it's nice. Let's start you watching. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh my word. Mm -mm. It's so nice. Esther, you've done well. Thank you. You've passed my test. Me, if it's not nice, I would <laughs> say it. Oh, but you've, you've really done well. I'm glad you liked it. Yes. Yeah, so thank you so much for grazing my kitchen. I've been sure is very grateful. Do you have any final words to tell young women? Since you're a, you're a women advocate, any anything you want to tell them before I tell you what I have to tell you? Mm. You know, I was taking this bite. Mm -hmm. So I'll get the energy to talk. Okay. So, you know, I think for me, what I'll say mm -hmm. is that um, I, I, there's something I tell my friends that this current generation mm -hmm. is the blessed and cursed generation. Why? It's blessed because, I mean, you could actually do so much within a short space. If you are focused. All thanks to the new media. Social media is really doing a lot of good and bad at, at the same time. Yeah, but I mean, for me, my emphasis is going to be on the internet. Okay. Um, gone were the days where people have to go to the library, stay there the whole day. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, even getting books to read, you have to, you know, get somebody who can get you a book from either London, Europe, or America, or anywhere. Mm -hmm. But today, everything is literally accessible. On Google, you just Google and you're in your palm. Go. That's the beauty of it. In your palm, you can get all the journals and all that. Mm -hmm. And I say that it's, it's a blessed and cursed generation because there's so much distraction. Thank you. And so people get distracted and uh, are interested in the distraction. You know, I actually had to um, seize my son's tablets because it was it was contradicting with his studies. Because he was so addicted to it, so I had to seize it. So the, the thing with tablets and But kids, it was helping him. Once he gets homework, he'll Google and he'll learn from it. But at the same time, he was playing games. It was too much, so I had to seize it. So the thing with tablets and kids. So studies have shown that mm -hmm. in the developmental stage of a, a child, 
there's a stage where there's the motor stage where they need to learn mobility and all that and there's the communication the language stage mm -hmm. and um if you read a lot of books on children's um developmental milestone mm -hmm. they tell you at some point read books to the child and all mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. communicates with the child when he sees something say, says Same. i mean back to the person the, to the child whether mm -hmm. a girl or boy whatever the reason being is that it helps the children to form the comprehension when it comes to communication okay. so they are communicating with two individuals that need to be responded to mm -hmm. so they say something to you mom i want water mm -hmm. and then you're like Okay, can you drink milk first before mm -hmm. water? And you could say, can you get me this? So they are processing, they are, their mind is literally processing what you are telling them. Telling them okay. Oh, you want me to drink milk later. Okay. And then so if they don't want to drink milk, mm -hmm. they want to communicate back. Mm -hmm. Now the danger with the tablet mm -hmm. to a lot of mothers is, is a very good distraction. Mm -hmm. It keeps the, the child busy and all that. Yeah. So children today are lacking communication skills especially in comprehension they wow. can't really think on their feet because you are communicating basically with a, 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 an ipad that is not communicating back to you yeah. you are feeding on what the ipad is only telling so what's your you to take? feed we should, we should learn to communicate with them yes i think that verbally verbally than making them go on the internet to do whatever they want to no, do no no okay be engaging with them verbally. That's another point. Particularly using the L1, which is the first language, your mother tongue. Speaking with them in the first language and okay. getting them to understand and respond back. All right. Now, Thank if you. you're a mother that is so good with regulation of time, mm -hmm. you can say, I don't want to deprive my child. I want him or her to learn nursery rhymes and all that. So mm -hmm. one hour in a day, he's okay. going to spend an hour on it. Mm -hmm. But most parents don't check. So that's you, a problem. Yes. So me, I'll just take you off. Yes. Thank so you so for much. Me, that's Thank what I think. Thank you so much, uh, Esther, for coming. And whatever that I have spent with you, I am so grateful. And I believe that all across Africa have taken one or two caution from whatever you've taught us. So God bless you. As you're living, I have this beautiful hamper from my sponsors. Fried so vegetable cooking oil. And of course, fortune rice. Always on point, just like mom. This is the hamper I have for you. What do you have to tell my sponsors? Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> rice, oil, mm. uh, staple things I use in my house Indeed. on a daily basis. Of course. So, thank you. Thank you for the thoughts and I'm grateful. All right. Thank you too. Um, okay, my people, this is where we end today's episode of Yeja Awasu. <laughs> and it was so delicious. My makeup... It's of course from the glam hole. Thank you so much for making this up. And of course to all the crew members of our being show. Today is the first time I'm giving you a shout out. You've, got, you've tried. My producer, my EP extraordinaire, Doreen Heyman. God bless you for all the hard work. And for that David, another episode. I'll tell you about that gentleman. That David. Only God knows. So my people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. On the show. So when I say I've been here, you know how you're going to respond, right? Mm -hmm. Morning Africa is okay. So thank you so much. Uh, you can follow us on all our social media platforms at I've Show TV. We're on YouTube, we're on TikTok, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. Please like our pictures. And then, of course, you can also comment. Yes, it's very, very important. My name is Cynthia Timaiyabo. Of course, you can comment to my Kumkum all the time. Utune de me de me ma o da. A bing show! Bonding Africans through cooking.